हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टोरेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज नथिंग बट डिफरेंट एरियाज ऑफ मेमोरी वेन अ प्रोसीजर इज इन एग्जीक्यूशन welcome again and uh, the next topic here that we are learning here is the storage uh, organization so here uh, this is the run time memory okay now this is the run time memory means uh, when we are running a program okay when we are effectively running the program then at that particular time what is the status or how uh, memory support okay so memory is uh, not support let's say utilized okay so how memory is utilized and that topic is uh, we are discussing as a run time uh, let's say uh, run time subdivision of run time in the memory okay so the first part here in this case is the section that is called code section and uh, code section is a section where finally uh, where where program is loaded okay so where program is loaded for execution so you can think of that uh, when, when when whenever you write a c program so where it will be loaded so that c program will be loaded and this particular part and that is called code se code section and uh, sometime it is also called it as a text section okay so sometime it is also called as a text section then uh, before just i'll describe you the control stack and the control stack uh, says that uh, run time uh, run time allocation run time memory allocation allocation uh, for activation of procedure for activation of procedure okay uh, there is a there is a heap and that heap is uh, heap is used for in case uh, for our understanding in terms of c language the dynamic okay dynamic allocation allocation of memory okay so for dynamic allocation of the memory we declare now this both uh, grow can grow run time huh? it is when you are executing and that's why the symbol is there that they can grow in run time and uh, okay run time and we cannot have a statically defined this to to uh, stati statically define the stack and the heap static that data static data you understand that uh, that does not change the value uh, this allocation is for the let's say global variable okay global variables are declared in this place and also recall the the storage class and the storage class uh, static in case of a c language okay so he there also uh, when local declared as static okay and as goes into this area uh local local variable if they are in this part then local variable preserves its value okay preserves its value during repeated call okay so how this global variable maintain the same data or local variable you want to retain the value then we'll declare something like in c language we have a declaration static int a equal to 10 there are other properties are also there but uh, right now we can say only let's say if i have a global variable the data will not go to the stack and uh, it will go to the static data also one more point here i forgot is the the local data huh? local variables local data stored in stack local data stored in stack okay so that's all the for this uh, uh, the discussion of subdivision of memory and we have seen the text the code the static data the runtime it can grow the processor recursive calls with the help of the stack 
and there is a uh, dynamic allocation of the memory, Milok and Kellogg, that is your. So that's all for this discussion. Thank you.